here we go again. Hi guys, this is Connie. Back for some more Connie Reads. I figure I'm going to try and start posting every Tuesday and every Thursday and give you at least a chapter of something that you enjoy, which is Gary Paulson books, and then do a chapter of a couple of things that I enjoy because one of the goals I have for 2017 is finishing the playlists that I started last year. So, uh, we're gonna do the introduction to Gary Polson's The River. This is book two. We missed it last time because I couldn't find it in a library, and so I bought it. So, here's the introduction, and ooh, ah, shiny book. Two years ago, Brian Robeson was stranded alone in the wilderness for 54 days with nothing but a small hatchet. He survived. Now the government wants him to do it again, to go back into the wilderness so that astronauts and the military can learn the survival techniques that kept him alive. This time, he won't be alone. Derek Holzer, a government psychologist, will accompany him. But during a freak storm, Derek is hit by lightning and falls into a coma. Their radio transmitter is dead. Brian's only hope is to build a raft and try to transport Derek a hundred miles down the river to a trading post, if the map he has is accurate. Whoa! And so it just continues and continues and continues some more. So I have not read ahead. Didn't know if there was any other introduction. So there is a picture of the map. Let's see. Um, na, 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 na. These pages are getting stuck together. So that was the introduction. And I, sp I suppose we will go right into chapter one. So, Brian opened the door and stood back. There were three men, all in dark suits, standing on the front porch. They were large, but not fat, well bu built, with bodies in decent shape. One of them was slightly thinner than the other two. Brian Robeson? Brian nodded. Yes? The thin man smiled and stepped forward and held out his hand. I'm Derek Holster. These other two are Bill Mannerly and Eric Ballard. Can we come in? Brian held the door open to let them come in. Mother isn't home right now. It's you we want to see. Derek stopped just in the entryway, and the other two did the same. Of course we'll wish to speak with your mother and father as well, but we came to see you. Didn't you get a call about us? Brian shook his head. I don't think so. I mean, I know I didn't, but I don't think mother did either. She would have said something. How about your father? He doesn't live here. My parents are divorced. Oh, sorry. Derek truly looked embarrassed. I didn't know. It happens, Brian shrugged, but it was still new enough, just over a year and a half, to feel painful. He mentally pushed it away and had a sudden thought of his own foolishness. Three men he did not know were in the house. They did not look threatening, but you never know. What can I do for you? Well, if you don't know anything about any of this, maybe we should wait for your mother to come home. We can come back. Brian nodded. Whatever you want. But you could tell me what, what it is about. Or what it's about, if you wanted to. Maybe I'd better check on you first. Are you the Brian Robeson who survived alone in the Canadian woods for two months? Fifty-four days, Brian said. Not quite two months. Yes, that's me. Good. Are you from the press? For months after his return home, Brian had been followed by the press, even after the television special. A camera crew went back with him to the lake and he showed them how he'd lived. They'd stayed after him. Newspapers, television, book, uh, book publishers. They called him at home, followed him to school. It was hard to get away from them. One man even offered him money to put his face on a t-shirt and a jeans company wanted to come out with a line of Brian Robeson's survival jeans. His mother had handled them all, with the help, through the mail, of his father. 
and he had some money in the account for college. Actually, enough to complete college. But it had finally slowed down, and he didn't miss it. At first, it had been exciting, but soon the thrill had worn off. He was famous, and that wasn't too bad. But when they started following him with cameras and wanting to make movies of him and his life, it got a little crazy. He met a girl at school, Deborah McKenzie. They hit it off and went on a few dates. And pretty soon, the press was bugging her as well. And that was too much. He started going out the back door, wearing sunglasses, meeting Deborah out in out of the way places and sliding down the hallways in school. He was only too glad when people stopped noticing him. And here they were again. I mean, are you with the television or anything? Derek shook his head. Nope, not even close. We're with a government survival school. Instructors? Derek shook his head. Not exactly. Bill and Eric are instructors, but I'm a psychologist. We work with people who may need to survive in bad situations. You know, like downed pilots, astronauts, soldiers. How to live off the land and get out safely. What do you want with me? Derek smiled. You can probably guess. Brian shook his head. Well, to make it short, we want you to do it again. And I venture to guess, but that's the end of chapter one. So, welcome back to Brian's world. I'm sure a lot of you enjoy it and I've appreciated continued comments. I feel like I could spend another minute on camera just thanking you for your comments and your subscriptions and your suggestions for various books that I plan on reading. I'm going to do the best I can to not only get through this book, but hopefully we'll get to Brian's Return and Brian's Hunt because we've already gone through Brian's Winter. And after that, I have, I still have a stack of four books and four playlists that still need to be finished that I'm going to probably do for my Thursday uploads. And then I have one, two, three, four more books in a box that I just found with two other books in a series that are upstairs that I'm hoping to read on camera because I have them. They've been suggested to the point of being given to me or I bought them because I thought, hey, these are interesting. And I would like to start at least putting them on camera so that when Button arrives in the next four months, I will be able to still give you guys what you want, which is me reading books on the internet. So thank you so much and be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you. And I will see you for the next chapter. Have a good one.